Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a networked chat system in Godot 4. To get started, let's go ahead and create a new scene. We can just call this main. We'll create a few buttons. The first button will be a host button to host the server. Let's go ahead and create a new button for joining that server. We need a place for the user to enter in a username. So we'll create a line edit. And in the placeholder text, we'll type username. We need to change the size of this. However, don't use the scaling option. This will just stretch out the text. Instead, go to layout, transform, and then edit the actual size and not the scale, like that. Next, we need our last button to be a send button to send the actual message. We need to create another line edit for the user to enter in the message. So we'll just call this message. And finally, we need a text edit to display all of the messages. We'll put this on not editable, so you cannot edit the actual text edit. And once again, make sure you are using the size variable to change the scale of your text edit. And I'll just go ahead and throw in a camera node to make sure that we have everything centered correctly when we run. I'll change the scale to 2. And 1.5 is better. Put that around here. And now it's going to create a new script. We need to reference all of these nodes except for the camera. So go ahead and shift click through all of those. Control and drag them over. We don't need either of these default functions. However, we need to create two new variables. One will be the actual username that the user has entered. We'll set this to a string and also a message that we are sending. We'll set this also to a string. Now we need to go ahead and connect our buttons to the script by selecting the node and on pressed. Select the script, press connect. Do the same thing for the join and the send button. First off in our host function, we need to create a new server. So we'll create a new peer variable. We'll set this to enet multiplayer peer dot new. And then we need to actually create the server. So peer dot create server. We will set the port. I'll set it to 1027. Now get tree dot set multiplayer scene multiplayer dot new and self dot get path and to set the actual multiplayer peer we will type multiplayer dot multiplayer peer will be set to our peer and I'm going to go to make a new function called joined here I will simply hide the host button the join button and the username text edit. We'll go ahead and set the actual username to the username edit dot text. And let's go ahead and reference this joined function in the host pressed. Now let's go to press play. If we enter in a username, and we press host, it will create a new server, it will hide everything down here, and it will store your username into that string variable. Now for the join function, we can use the same peer variable. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste that into here. We will then type peer dot create client. We'll have to join through the same port. However, first we need to enter in the IP address to reference the local machine. You could type in 127.0.0.1. This, this will reference your computer. However, you will need to enter in a different IP if you are forwarding this to a server. Next, type in the port. And we can go ahead and copy and paste the last three lines as well. Now we need to create a networked function to send and receive messages. So, at RPC, referencing any peer, and call local. Next, we will just call it message. RPC, we will take in the username and the message data. So we'll just call it data. Now we need to update the actual message text box. So we will type messages dot text plus gets, we'll convert to string our username and we'll separate that with a colon and a space. Next, we will enter in our data, which is our message and create a new line. Now in our send button function, we simply need to reference the RPC function. So RPC, message RPC. We need to pass in the username 
and our line edit. So message dot text. So now if I type in a username and I host and I type a message like hello, I can send that and it will say my username plus hello. And if I keep sending it, it will create a new line each time. However, we will soon run into the issue where we run out of space on the text edit. And with Godot's text editor, it doesn't automatically scroll. However, there is a very easy way around this. Head over to your RPC function. We need to type messages dot scroll vertical gets INF. So now when the text editor runs out of space, it will simply scroll with our messages. And we should also clear the message line edit each time when we send a message. So message dot text will reset to a blank string. So now when I send a message, it will clear up my message. And now to add more than one person, click debug, run multiple instances, click two or more, press run. Now I'll create a username and press host. And now for everyone else, you have to press join. So other person and join. And now we can see that if I send a message here, let's say hello, it will show up on both sides. And over here, I will say hello back. And we'll see, it shows up on both sides. Anyways, guys, hope you found the story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.